from what will not have interest in Thompson being no, we lose. We're already not the biggest team in the league, so now we lose one of another one of our bigs. So, you know, without our starting, uh, you know, front court, you know, four and five, you know, it's going to be even more challenging for us to rebound. You know, myself and Larry, and um, you know, I can imagine Big Z is going to get some um, a little bit of playing time as well now. So, it's going to be a collective, uh, a real, real collective group of rebounding. You know, what better way to test yourself with Big Drummond and Blake coming in town? Well, he has had a hard time, <clears throat> excuse me, getting it kind of ramped up early at home. Does that happen during a season where you maybe play with a, a different sense of urgency at home? Nah, no, I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Um, you know, would you agree, though, that you guys have been a little flat coming out? Well, I mean, I would agree we've been down. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so that's it's been the case. Um, so, uh, hopefully we can assure that up today. Say again. The NBA is planning to create inroads with the elite high school prospects. Okay. Um, and eventually, this leads to some sort of alternative to playing the best role in the future. Both of In your mind, what's your timeline to try to have that dialogue with Adam Silver? I don't know. Um, obviously, right now is you know, not the best of times, obviously, because you know, both sides are you know, extremely busy. But you know, in the off season, hopefully. Um, and um, you know, find out the time to kind of just have a conversation and see what happens. I'm not sure of the story that came out today, so I'm not going to comment on that. But um, you know, anything that can continue to uh, you know help the gener- generation, the younger generation who wants to you know hopefully at some point be a part of this league, if we can have some type of you know system in place that we can help them out and help those dreams become true, that'd be great. Have you kind of taken it upon yourself in the past too, LeBron, to anybody that's sought your advice maybe during that time to tell uh, them what they should be expecting or well yeah I mean I've always kind of had a, a open door policy obviously uh, with potential um, guys that could be a part of this league or, or what to look for or what to what they might you know encounter you know down kind the road so too, right? yeah yeah absolutely so you know it's always more than just basketball with me and it's always been that way with my camp and me personally so now that hasn't changed you congratulated Kobe via Twitter, but is that is that one of your goals to win an Oscar? No, it's never been one of my goals, but you know, now that I'm in a I'm in a movie and film and um, TV business and you know doing so many things, um, if at some point we can um, um, you know be nominated and, and win an Oscar, that'd be uh, that'd be something that I never thought that would happen for sure. That's um, so, but we've been. We got some things in the works, so we see what happens. Have you seen Dear Basketball? Yeah, I watched it the night it came out. Any impressions? I was phenomenal. All right, guys, it's now time for the 2018 Cavs Harvest for Hunger campaign. Whoever can bring back the most canned goods or non-perishable items is going to win. On your mark, get set, go. Help make a difference in the lives of hungry children and families in our community by bringing canned food and non-perishable items to Cavs home games on March 19th, 21st, and 23rd. It was a close one, but we have a final count. Moondog, 215 items. Nice job. Sir Cece, two, one, six. Sir Cece is the winner.